What time is it? It's prayer time. Today, let us delve into the profound topic of spiritual authority. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, understanding and embracing our spiritual authority is paramount for navigating the challenges we face. As children of God, we are called to walk in His authority, wielding the power He has bestowed upon us. What is spiritual authority? It is not about dominating others or seeking control. Instead, it is about recognizing the sovereignty of God and aligning ourselves with His will. Spiritual authority flows from our intimate relationship with the Almighty rooted in faith and obedience. In Matthew 28, 18, 20, Jesus declared, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. As followers of Christ, we are commissioned to spread the gospel, not in our own strength, but in the authority of our Savior. In Luke 10, 19, Jesus empowers us, saying, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This verse illustrates the spiritual authority we possess as believers. We have the power to resist the schemes of the enemy and to walk in victory. However, exercising spiritual authority requires humility and a deep reverence for God. We must submit ourselves to His will and seek His guidance in all things. Our authority is not derived from our own merit, but from the grace of God. As we embrace our spiritual authority, let us remember the words of Ephesians 6, 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Our battle is not against fellow human beings, but against spiritual principalities. Therefore, we must stand firm in our authority, clothed in the armor of God. Now, as we reflect on the importance of exercising spiritual authority, let us consider how we can practically apply this truth to our lives. Let us prioritize prayer and communion with God. Our spiritual authority flows from our relationship with Him. So spending time in prayer, studying His Word, and seeking his guidance is essential. Be vigilant and discerning. The enemy seeks to undermine our authority and sow seeds of doubt and division. By staying rooted in the truth of God's word and being aware of the enemy's tactics, we can effectively resist his schemes. Walk in love and humility. Spiritual authority is not a license to lord over others or seek personal gain. Instead, it is a call to serve others with humility and compassion, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Exercise our authority responsibly. God has entrusted us with his power for a purpose, to advance his kingdom and bring glory to his name. Let us use our authority to speak truth, to bring healing and restoration, and to proclaim the good news of salvation to a lost and broken world. Let us also be mindful of the responsibility that comes with our authority. We are called to be good stewards of the power entrusted to us, using it to bring about positive change in the world around us. This means being intentional in our actions, seeking God's guidance in all that we do, and being accountable to Him and to one another. Furthermore, let us not underestimate the impact of our spiritual authority. Through our prayers, our words, and our actions, we have the power to shape the course of history and to make a difference in the lives of those around us. Let us never doubt the significance of our role as ambassadors of Christ and agents of His kingdom. Remember that our authority ultimately rests in Christ. He is the source of our power, and apart from Him, we can do nothing. Let us therefore fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith and draw near to him in prayer and obedience. Let us also remember the words of James 4, 7, which says, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Our authority comes from our submission to God. When we align ourselves with his will and resist the schemes of the enemy, we can be confident that he will fight on our behalf. Our daily lives, let us seek opportunities to demonstrate our spiritual authority through acts of kindness, compassion, and service to others. Whether it's offering a word of encouragement to someone in need, praying for the sick, or standing up for justice and righteousness, let us be bold in using our authority to bring about positive change in the world. Let us also remember that our authority extends beyond the physical realm into the spiritual realm. Through prayer, fasting, and spiritual warfare, we can combat the forces of darkness and bring light into the darkest places. Let us be vigilant in our prayers, knowing that our prayers have the power to move mountains and break chains. 
chains. Let us walk in the confidence that comes from knowing who we are in Christ. We're getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you today humbled by the privilege of standing in your presence and empowered by the authority you have entrusted to us. We acknowledge that all authority belongs to you and we submit ourselves to your will. Lord, we thank you for the spiritual authority you have given us as your children. Help us to walk in that authority with confidence and humility, knowing that it comes from you alone. Grant us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to act accordingly. Father, we pray for strength to resist the schemes of the enemy and to stand firm in the face of adversity. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may be empowered to overcome every obstacle that stands in our way. We ask for your protection over us as we exercise our spiritual authority. Guard us from the attacks of the evil one and surround us with your heavenly hosts. Let your light shine through us, dispelling the darkness wherever we go. Lord, help us to use our authority for the advancement of your kingdom and the glory of your name. May we be faithful stewards of the power you have given us, using it to bring healing, hope, and restoration to a broken world. Father, we pray for unity among your people as we journey together in faith. May we lift one another up, encourage one another, and bear one another's burdens. Let your love bind us together in perfect harmony, that the world may know that we are your disciples. Lord, help us to wield this authority with humility and grace, always mindful of your will and your purpose for our lives. Grant us the strength and courage to speak truth boldly, to stand up for justice, and to resist the forces of darkness that seek to undermine your kingdom. Father, we pray for wisdom to discern the times and seasons, and to know how best to exercise our authority in every situation. Guide our steps, Lord, and direct our paths that we may walk in obedience to your word and in alignment with your perfect will. We lift up to you our families, our communities, and our nation. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Use us, Lord, as instruments of your peace and agents of your love that your kingdom may be advanced and your name glorified in all the earth. Father, we pray for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon your church. Renew us, Lord, and revive us that we may shine brightly as beacons of hope in a dark and troubled world. Empower us to proclaim the good news of your salvation with boldness and confidence that many may come to know you and experience the fullness of life in your presence. Lord, we ask for the strength and courage to exercise this authority with wisdom and discernment. Help us to recognize the battles worth fighting and to stand firm in the face of opposition. Give us the confidence to speak your truth boldly, knowing that you are with us always. Father, we pray for unity among your people as we walk in this authority together. Help us to support and encourage one another, lifting each other up in prayer and standing together against the schemes of the enemy. May our love for one another be a testimony to the world of your power and presence in our lives. Lord, we lift up our leaders, both in the church and in the world. Grant them wisdom and guidance as they exercise their authority, that they may lead with integrity and righteousness. Protect them from the attacks of the enemy and surround them with your angels of protection. Lord, we acknowledge that our authority is not for our own glory or power, but to fulfill your purposes and bring about your kingdom on earth. Help us to align our hearts with your will, that we may use this authority to serve others and to glorify your name. Father, we pray for the wisdom to discern when and how to exercise our spiritual authority. Guide us by your Holy Spirit, that we may be sensitive to your leading and obedient to your commands. Give us the courage to step out in faith knowing that you are always with us. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling to recognize their own spiritual authority. Open their eyes to the truth of who they are in Christ, that they may walk in confidence and boldness. Break down the strongholds of doubt and fear and fill them afresh with your spirit, that they may experience the fullness of life that you have promised. Lord, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we navigate the challenges of exercising spiritual
spiritual authority in our lives. Help us to discern your voice amidst the noise of the world and to follow your leading with courage and conviction. Father, we pray for a deeper understanding of the authority we have been given in Christ. May we grasp the magnitude of our identity as co-heirs with Christ, seated with him in heavenly places. Empower us to walk in that authority with confidence, knowing that you have equipped us with everything we need to fulfill your purposes. Lord, we lift up those who are facing spiritual battles and oppression. Strengthen them with your mighty hand and remind them of the authority they have in your name. May they stand firm in the face of adversity, knowing that you are fighting on their behalf. Lord, help us to fully grasp the depth and breadth of our spiritual authority in Christ. May we walk in the confidence of knowing that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers. Strengthen our faith, Lord, that we may exercise our authority with boldness and unwavering trust in your promises. Father, we pray for discernment to recognize the battles worth fighting and the wisdom to know how to fight them. Equip us with the the full armor of God that we may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. May the truth of your word be our sword and may the shield of faith quench every fiery dart of the evil one. Lord, we lift up our families, our communities and our world to you. We know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Help us to be vigilant in prayer, interceding on behalf of those who are lost and in need of your saving grace. Lord, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we navigate the responsibilities that come with exercising spiritual authority. Help us to walk in humility and love, always seeking your will above our own desires. Grant us the discernment to know when and how to use our authority for your glory and the good of others. Father, we pray for a deeper understanding of the spiritual battles that surround us. Open our eyes to see the unseen realm and to recognize the tactics of the enemy. Equip us with spiritual weapons that are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds and demolishing every argument and pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of you. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling to recognize their own spiritual authority. Break through the lies and deception of the enemy and reveal to them the truth of who they are in Christ. Empower them to stand firm in their identity as sons and daughters of the Most High God, armed with the authority to overcome every obstacle and opposition. Lord, help us to understand the depth of our spiritual authority in Christ. Christ. May we grasp the reality that we are co-heirs with Christ, sharing in his victory over sin and death. Strengthen our faith, Lord, that we may walk in the confidence of knowing that nothing can stand against us when we stand in your authority. Father, we pray for discernment to recognize the areas of our lives where we need to exercise spiritual authority. Give us the courage to confront the powers of darkness that seek to hinder our walk with you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may be bold and steadfast in our faith. Lord, we lift up our families, our communities, and our world to you. We know that there are spiritual battles raging all around us, and we ask for your protection and guidance. Use us, Lord, as instruments of your peace and agents of your kingdom, bringing light into the darkness and hope to the hopeless. Father, we pray for a deeper understanding of our identity in Christ. May we fully grasp the reality that we are seated with him in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority. Fill us with your spirit, Lord, that we may walk in the authority and power that comes from knowing you. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling to recognize their own spiritual authority, break through the barriers of doubt and fear, and reveal to them the truth of who they are in Christ. Empower them to walk in victory, knowing that you have given them authority over all the powers of darkness. Lord, help us to understand the depth and breadth of our spiritual authority in Christ. May we grasp the reality that we are empowered by your spirit to speak life, to bring healing, and to proclaim your truth in every circumstance. Grant us the confidence to exercise this authority with humility and grace, knowing that it is through you that we are able to do all things. Father, we pray for a greater awareness of the spiritual battles taking place around us. Open our eyes to see beyond the natural realm and to recognize the schemes of the enemy. Equip us with discernment and wisdom that we may effectively wield our authority to overcome the forces of darkness. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling to walk in their spiritual authority. Whether it be due to fear, doubt, or insecurity, we ask that you would strengthen and encourage them. Remind them of who they are in Christ and empower them to stand. Firm against the attacks of the enemy, we decree and declare that as children of God, we have been given authority over all the powers of darkness, according
according to Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We decree and declare our victory in Christ over the schemes of the enemy. We stand firm in the authority granted to us through the blood of Jesus, declaring that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We decree and declare that our authority comes from God alone and we walk in humility and obedience to his will according to James 4, 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We decree and declare that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places far above all rule and authority according to Ephesians 1, 20, 21 which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come we decree and declare that we have authority to speak life and blessings over our lives and the lives of others according to proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof we decree and declare that we have authority to bind and rebuke every spirit of fear doubt and insecurity in the name of jesus according to 2 timothy 1 7 for god hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind we decree and declare that we have authority to proclaim freedom to the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners according to isaiah 61 1 the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound we decree and declare that we have authority to overcome every obstacle and opposition that stands in our way according to Romans 8 37 nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us we decree and declare that we have authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy according to Luke 10 19 behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you we decree and declare that we have authority to bring healing and restoration to the sick and the brokenhearted according to james 5 14 15 is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven him we decree and declare that we have authority to speak truth boldly even in the face of opposition according to acts 4 29 and now lord behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word we decree and declare that we have authority to resist the devil and he will flee from us according to mark 4 39 and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm we decree and declare that we have authority to cast out demons and to set the oppressed free according to mark 16 17 and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues we decree and declare that we have authority to build up and encourage one another in our faith according to 1 Thessalonians 5 11. wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as also ye do we decree and declare that we have authority to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us according to Matthew 5 44 but I say unto you love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you we decree and declare that we have authority to forgive others just as christ has forgiven us according to colossians 3 13 forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as christ forgave you so also do ye we decree and declare that we have authority to walk in victory knowing that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world according to 1 john 4 4 ye are of god little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world we decree and declare and we bind and rebuke the enemy almighty god we take authority over the devil and every demonic force that seeks to hinder our progress in the name of jesus we bind and rebuke the enemy casting out all evil influences from our lives families and communities we claim god's promises lord we declare your promises of protection provision and peace over our lives we take authority over any attempts by the devil to rob us of the 
abundant life that you have promised. Your word is our shield and we stand firm, trusting in your faithfulness. We breaking every strongholds. Father, we decree and declare the breaking of every stronghold that the devil has erected in our lives. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we dismantle and destroy every barrier that hinders our spiritual growth, relationships, and well-being. We release God's light and truth. Lord, we take authority over the darkness that the enemy tries to cast upon us. We decree and declare the release of your light and truth into every situation. Let your word illuminate our paths, exposing and dispelling the lies of the enemy. May your truth set us free and empower us to walk in victory. We decree and declare that we have authority to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, according to 2 Corinthians 10. 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We decree and declare that we have authority to speak with wisdom and authority as the Holy Spirit gives us utterance according to Luke 21 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. We decree and declare that we have authority to bear fruit that will last, bringing glory to the name of Jesus according to John 15 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. We decree and declare that we have authority to go forth and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, according to Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you for these powerful promises that you give us to use. May we walk boldly in your spiritual authority as a child of God, renewed faith and courage, knowing that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Let us walk in the authority that has been given to us, boldly proclaiming the truth of the gospel and demonstrating the power of God's love to a world in need. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may he give you peace both now and forevermore. Amen.